Hello everyone, welcome to day 28th of August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Valid Sudoku In this question, we are given a grid of size n 9 cross 9 and we need to tell whether it's a valid Sudoku board or not There are few rules that are specified for this validation Also, the question is not telling us whether the Sudoku board is solvable or not it's, We just want to tell whether it's a valid Sudoku board or not and the rules are as follows each row must contain one to nine elements without recursion each column must contain the digits one to nine without recursion each of the three co three cross three sub boxes of the grid must contain the digits one to nine without repetition the question itself gives us the hint that we need to counter repetition hence we will use sets in while solving this question i'll talk about this in the presentation section so without much ado let's move on to the ppt valid sudoku lead code 36 and let's talk about the rules again each row must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition so this is the first row and we need to check whether in this row there exists any repetition or not or any repeated number or not so how can we do that you can create a hash set of strings and what you will keep in that hash set for as a unique identifier for row we will use the string in the format number the number that we have underscore whether it's part of a row or a column or a box underscore the call the row id the row index which in this case is zero so i am identifying it using i and uh, one such example would be five underscore r underscore zero and you will keep on iterating across the complete matrix one by one and you'll add these entries as you iterate if you find any entry that already exists in the hash set during the iteration process you will abort the process and return false from there and then itself so the row is taken care by this key let's talk about how we will counter the columns each column must contain the digits one to nine without repetition so for countering the columns we will use the key as number underscore c that signifies the column underscores the jth index of the column and let's assume we are iterating in this particular column then what you will do you will add uh, the elements in the format 5 underscore c underscore 0 because this is the starting column now let's talk about the third case each of the nine three cross three sub boxes of the grid must contain digits uh, one to nine without repetition so it's trying to signify that this particular box should not have any repeated element in it this repeated box should not have any repeated element in it similarly for the rest of the boxes so how can we identify the position of this particular box it's pretty straightforward what you're gonna do you can group them by their i and j indexes how so if you will divide 0 1 or 2 by 3 you will get 0 and if you divide 0 1 and 2 here as well by 3 you will get 0 so for the box 0 comma 0 this becomes the identifier for the first one let's talk about the next box here if you divide 3 4 or 5 by 3 you will get the index as 1 so the jth index becomes 1 and um, the identifier for this particular box is 0 comma 1 let's talk about the next case what is the identifier for this particular box it's 0 comma 2 because if you divide 6, 7 or 8 by 3, you get 2. Similarly, for these cases as well, this would be 1 and this would be 2. If someone asks you what is the identity 
for this particular box it is 2 comma 1 for this one it is 2 comma 2 and again we'll do the exactly same thing we'll add in the hash set and this time the format is gonna be number underscore b for boxes underscore i underscore j if you find this repeated then you you will abort the process and let's take an example let's assume we were iterating over this 9 and the number here would be 9 underscore b what would be the ith variable here ith would be 0 because you will divide 2 by 3 so underscore 0 and what will be the jth variable 1 divided by 3 it would be 0 so this becomes the identifier for box 1 this complete box and if you see 9 number being repeated in the hash set you will abort the process I hope you got the context without much ado let's look at the coding section the time complexity for this approach would be order of n cross n and n here is 9 so it's a constant time complexity tc of 9 square let's move on to the coding section the first thing that i have done is to define a set that will store all the visited or all the scene entries and then we will iterate over uh, the input matrix that is given to us i'll extract the number if the current number is not equal to dot that means it's a valid entry in the matrix in the form of a number starting from 1 till 9 it can be any digit from 1 till 9 and if that is the case i'll check whether the entry corresponding to row column or box exists in this set if it does i'll return false otherwise i'll go and add a new entry in the set corresponding to the row key that we built the column key that we built and the box key that we built pretty straightforward in the end if this condition is not met we simply return true as an answer accepted let's talk about the time complexity the time complexity of this approach is order of one uh, because it's actually order of two square and that makes up till order of 81 which is nothing but constant time i hope you enjoyed today's session if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye